Something bothering you, Shirley? Miss Lin has been filling me in on exactly what's going on with Dr. Rebilia these past few days. It looks like Miss Lyra and her colleagues might have found a way to rouse the doctor. Her neural activity is increasing every day. But we're all a bit worried about what form exactly our reunion will take when the good doctor wakes. These concerns have prompted Archon Larson to transfer the doctor to the Silver Coast Research Station. What do you think? Do you think Dr. Rubilia will be back to her old self? Or something other than human? I don't think the process has stripped Dr. Rubilia of her human capacity for reason and thinking. Her actions seem to have a clear purpose. Like how she sent a message to Lin using the puppet singer. Or how she made contact with Ruby in a dream to try to transmit a message to Miroria. And when she bravely ventured alone into the abyss, she also left us with invaluable visual records in her lab and along the way. I think she must have prepared for the possibility that those who might come after her, like us, would need guidance. She must know what she's doing. Think of the sacrifices she's made to understand these Grayspace entities, and how horrible it must be to keep at arm's length, treated as something potentially dangerous and inhuman. 
I can't help feeling that we have not done right by her. It's a tough situation, but when she made these decisions, she must have had an inkling of what might happen. I just hope everything she's done will turn out worthwhile in the end. Executor, Miss Shirley, apologies for the intrusion. What is it, Lyra? I just picked up a message from the Silver Coast Research Station. Dr. Rubilia has awoken and revealed some very important information for all of us. Lynn is already on her way there, and I wanted to ask you to come with me to help assess the situation. Understood. We'll leave at once.
The doctor was only able to rouse herself briefly, which allowed for a short interaction with us. Then she returned to her isolation pod. She released some kind of black fog that has obscured all our attempts to observe what's going on inside the pod. Subsequent attempts at communication have met with no reply. I see. And so what did she tell you? She said that large numbers of gray space entities have been summoned by the Hive Mother and are heading for the deep ocean near Innis, where there are some things they are very interested in. What's this Hive Mother? A gray space entity that's higher up the chain of command? I'm afraid a definitive answer may require the Doctor's input. Our main concern right now lies in Innis. The Doctor has already warned us numerous times that the Second City is in extreme danger. That is, if we are to trust her words. Archon Larson has already put patrols near Innis on high alert, but recently we haven't received any reports of a gray space entity intrusion, which is perhaps even more disconcerting than if we had. It's possible the gray space entities have found a way to cloak their arrival via an as yet undetected method. My next question would Director Ava, did Rebilia say anything more detailed in regard to Innis? No, and I'm afraid she did not appear to be in the best state of mind. She claimed to be suffering under the eff- Stasis chamber data anomaly. Miss Lynn, the doctors- I can hear you. Rubilia. But the Hive Mother can hear you too. Where is the Hive Mother? In my head. Whatever I see, whatever I hear, she hears and sees. And I can't escape her. Even in this pod. She can sense your surroundings somehow? Using your eyes? Any gray space entity can become the eyes and ears of the Hive Mother if she so chooses. Nor can I do anything to resist her will. I know that when she looks at me, she can see whatever I see. Right now, when the bulk of her attention is still focused on the Ennis artifact under the sea, I can maybe conceal a little bit of what I'm thinking from her. But I'm not sure how long that will last. What is this artifact on- I don't know. I can't fully comprehend the will of the Hive Mother. All I know is she's calling me. And the call is getting strong. Release her? The Hive Mother herself is currently imprisoned within a cage of black stone. But the power of the cage is gradually weakening. A cage of black stone? Could it be- I can't get any kind of accurate sense of the Hive Mother's current location. Perhaps- It's difficult to imagine what kind of person could have the power to cage the Hive Mother. But I suspect the Blackstone Ruins left in the con- I don't know much about that. I have no access to the minds of those powerful Abyssins. But as for the inferior, younger, gray space entities, I'm still trying to establish closer contact with them. In some kind of rep- Rubilia? The Stasis Chamber's readout has returned to normal. Listen carefully. She is keeping a close eye on me. I have to... 
retreat back into the fog. She can use all my senses for her own Innes. You have to stop her. If what the doctor just said is true, then I'm afraid the entire region may not be the friendly. I will inform Hycros headquarters of what has transpired here and request. It doesn't look like the doctor is capable of many conversations. Yes. We'll have to see whether we can minimize or cut off the Hive Mother's influence. Yes, sir. For the time being, Dr. Rubilia will have to remain confined within her pod. We can't risk bringing her back to Maroria. Yes, sir. As for Inners, Lynn, can you organize a team to investigate? And if necessary, we... Understood. Time is against us. I suggest using the long-range space rift... And as for Rubilia... Don't worry, Miss Lynn. We'll look after her. Very well. Ex MSEC 2000, MSEC 2000, MSEC 2000, awaiting your instructions, MSEC 2000, awaiting your instructions, Executor. Um, can I help you? Pet my ears, go on! Hey, hey, over here! Reporting in, food is ready. Do you need me? Please watch over me. There seems to be a- Is it time to act? Is it time? Boosting power. Um, can I help you? Um, can I help you? Pet my ears! Pet my ears! Go on! Hey! Hey! Over here! Hey! Hey! Over here! Hey! Hey! Over here!
Maintain your composure. <laughs> Must maintain composure. on the target. That'll cost me some points. on the target.
attacks on the target.
on the target. MSEC 2000 reporting in. New resources acquired. Sorry for delaying your important mission, Lin. Is the space rift out of action? It seems so. Strange. It was working just fine five minutes ago. But then, when I was running some basic system checks, suddenly, I couldn't locate the space rift beacon in Innis. And why could that be? Well, we're running diagnostics to see if the machine is malfunctioning. But it could be a problem with the relay station or inner zone space rift. Yes, hello? Did you manage to get in touch with the technician in inners? Oh, what's that? Then... and outpost 10? Okay, got it. Bad news. Something's happened to outpost 10. We've lost contact with it. And where is outpost 10? In the ring-shaped river valley not too far away. Outpost 10 is responsible for servicing our telecommunications and space rift networks with Innis. A problem of this magnitude with Outpost 10 means we've lost contact with Innis altogether. I don't think it's a coincidence. I suspect the Outpost may well have already come under Grey Space Entity's attack. Shelly, please inform Ms. Lyra about this at once. The Executor and I will investigate it personally. Okay, understood. Any news? I've been trying to make contact with the outpost for a while, but there's no response. It seems something really did happen. Could it just be a problem with the outpost's communications equipment? If it was just an equipment malfunction, the outpost would have already gotten someone to inform us. But we've heard nothing from them. But if the place had indeed come under Grey Space Entity's attack, the Executor there would have notified Headquarters right away. We haven't picked up any message of the sort. No request for reinforcements. Nothing. Unless... Unless what? Unless the outpost's defenders were taken out so quickly that they didn't even have time to get a simple message out. But no ordinary Grey Space entity is capable of taking out an entire outpost's executor team and other defense personnel that quickly. Tian Long, which executor is currently on duty there? I think her name is... Oom? Let's go.
Stay sharp, everybody. I'm detecting Grayspace entity activity nearby. So the outpost really was attacked. Maintain your component. 
composure.
Sutherland! District 7 Executor in Training Umi reporting! So you're Umi? Yes, Officer Lin! Just call me Lin. What happened to your outpost? Mororia has been unable to get in touch. I... I have just returned myself. I was ordered to hunt down several Grayspace entities en route to attack the outpost when I intercepted their distress signal. I hurried back immediately. Proper procedure requires that you immediately relay news of the attack on the outpost to headquarters. Leaving your post like that was not your call to make. I... I'm sorry, madam. Lin? And what of your colleagues at the outpost? I... I, I don't know. On my way back, I was soon ambushed by enemies. And after that, I encountered you. I'm detecting faint signs of life in one of the lower areas, as well as signs of gray space entity activity. The outpost should have a built-in safe house for emergencies. Maybe the survivors hid inside. Right! The safe house is located below! I'll take you there! is a special kind of gray space entity only recently discovered. Strange to find them here. Look! The missing personnel! Stop looking around. Get rid of the enemies first.
I performed a thorough check. They appear to have simply passed out. No sign of injury or loss of life. They just passed out? Why would the Grey Space entities leave survivors? We've never seen anything like that before. It may be a characteristic unique to Hatchers. What do you think, Umi? Hmm? Uh... I've never seen one before, so I... I have no idea. Sorry. Notify headquarters of what's happened, Tianlong. Ask them to send a crew at once to pick up the injured. Also, Shirley, are you still picking up nearby Grayspace Entity activity? There are no more stable Grayspace Entity signals nearby. Miss Shirley, you can detect Grayspace Entities? That's extraordinary! Hmm, <sighs> it takes us a whole host of complicated machinery to accomplish the same thing. I've asked Shelly to make a few upgrades to my powers. I can't claim to detect them from very far away, but it does come in handy. Incredible. Do you think that I could also... Enough chit-chat. We've got a mission to do. Umi, do you think that the outpost's equipment is still in good working order? Headquarters has to re-establish contact with Innes ASAP. I... I'll have a look now! Let's also try to collect any clues we can nearby. We may have eliminated all the gray space entities within the outpost, but we still need to figure out exactly how they managed to mount such an effective assault. Start the system. Why? What's wrong? The signal base station we used to connect to Innes is malfunctioning, and I can't get the auto diagnostics to run. It needs a manual reset. Signal base station. Weren't they built in the miasmic swamp ahead? Do you think they've also been attacked by the gray space entities? Mororia always set up important field equipment like that with defensive force fields. No ordinary gray space entities would have the power to break through that. What concerns me more is that the base station came under attack at the same time as this outpost. In other words, we are not dealing with random events, but a coordinated plan by gray space entities with one clear goal. To cut off our connection to Innes. Do you really think the gray space entities could... I mean... Aren't they basically just wild animals running on instinct? Could they really pull off a coordinated maneuver like this? Umi, do you really think they are simply wild animals without reason? What do I think? I... I mean... I've only seen the most inferior of gray space entities. So... I really couldn't know. Ugh... Tianlong, what's the word from headquarters? They've sent a team to take over the site. Archon Larson wants us to go ahead and look into the anomalous space station in the Miasmic Swamp. We need to restore the network as soon as possible. In that case, can I volunteer to protect the outpost until they arrive? My colleagues are still unconscious. If the Gray Space entities launch another attack, they could be in terrible danger. No, you're coming with us. You know much more about what to expect in the Miasmic Swamp. And our highest priority right now is to repair the base station. Um... Then... Uh... How can we be sure that the outpost will remain safe? We've already eliminated the local Gray Space entities, and the team from headquarters should arrive any minute now. I don't think it's a problem. Um... In that case, I'll lead the way!
on the target. Maintain your composure. My heart is bursting. I'm taking it back to the security force. Dense underbrush. Good to see the local ecosystem is thriving. That is true to an extent, yes. A lot of animal and plant species would consider this something akin to heaven. I wonder why Miroria never had the idea of setting up a settlement here. By heaven, I didn't mean one for humans. Notice the thin mist up ahead? That's not water humidity. It's an airborne toxin harmful to humans. An airborne toxin? They once established an ecology research station here during the surface recolonization era. The place was home to quite a number of species human scientists had improved through genetic engineering. The gray space entities destroyed the station sometime later, setting the station's experiments loose into the surrounding environment. Most of the species quickly adapted, and indeed soon evolved into something approximating a fairly holistic ecosystem. Unfortunately, one of the accidental byproducts of this new ecosystem was a deadly toxin. Rainfall and high humidity disperse a lot more of the toxin into the air. In short, it's become a terrible place for human habitation. Can I ask you how you came to know the history of the area, Officer Tianlong? Oh, I just heard it in passing from some friends who had been stationed here. You know, it's a real shame. The place is obviously... Let's chat about this later. Right now, Umi. We need your help navigating this complex terrain. Right. There are three signal base stations here. Come with me. Alert! Gray space entities ahead! Not at all surprised, to be honest. Huh? Maintain your composure. Huh? Huh? Focus on the target. Ha! <laughs> 
points. <laughs> Maintain your composure. Do you often see Grayspace Entity activity around here? We might come across a few wandering Grayspace Entities from time to time, but not so many at once. These are the least of my worries. What we should be concerned with is what may be waiting for us ahead. Oh... There's not going to be some big powerful monster watching us from the shadows, is there? I've never gone up against Abyssins before. Whatever the danger is, that's why we're here. Umi, you're going to have to lead the way. Officer Lin, I suggest we split up for the next section. Is that so? The three base stations are located in different parts of the Miasmic Swamp. Going one by one will take a long time. It may be better to split up and handle all three at once. But we're not familiar with the terrain here. It could be dangerous if we don't stick together. True, but we don't have the luxury of time. Right now, our orders are to repair the base stations ASAP. I think Umi has a good point. <sighs> Alright. It makes sense to work quickly. Then I'll provide everyone with a map of the area. There you go! Umi, how do you think we should split up? Eh? Me? You're the local expert. Your suggestion carries a lot of weight. I would say... Base Stations 1 and 3 are near our present location. Officer Lin and Tian Lung, you could probably handle these two respectively. Base Station 2 is the furthest, so as the local expert, I think I can lead Shirley and the Executor to tackle that one. And we should be more than capable of eliminating any Grayspace entities we may find along the way. Oh, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, I don't think that would be very smart. Oh? Why is that? Mainly because I'm not... I mean... I don't have a good head for directions. Shirley and I will handle Base Station 1. Umi, you take the Executor and Tian Long to Base Station 3. Then, if everything works out just fine, we can all rendezvous at Base Station 2. And what if we run into trouble? You should be able to handle yourself, right? Well... When you put it like that, let's go. seen anything like this before? Oh, wow! Cool flowers! Cool flowers? We're in luck today. I think those flowers only form near an abyssin field. We're in... luck? <sighs> We're asking for trouble. Although, perhaps finding the trouble is more troublesome than the trouble itself. How do you know these flowers are being produced by an abyssin field? The abyssin is close. I can feel it. Also, I have lost contact with Lin. Something's blocked our comms. Uh huh? Careful not to touch those things. I've never sensed an abyssin like this before. Thank you. 
Space entities managed to get in here after all. It's going to be pretty hard for just the three of us to fix damage this extensive. Oh no! Darned Abyssins! Abyssins? No, no, no. I noticed that the nearby force field generators were not taken down by brute force. Someone must have just switched them off. But these force field generators can only be controlled from a console at Outpost 10. And special authorization is needed at that. Tian Lang, you mean someone working in the outpost switched off the force field generators? A working hypothesis. I sincerely doubt gray space entities would have the power to crack a security system that strong. Otherwise... No... Surely not! Maybe it was a simple equipment malfunction? Well, I suppose we can't say anything for sure at this stage. Let's keep going. I'm eager to meet up with Lin and the others at Base Station 2. Perhaps they figured something out... threads around us.
on the target. Decide now. Clean and fast. Focus. Maintain your composure. on the target. She's hiding somewhere. Hiding? But we've eliminated the- She may not necessarily be hiding from our enemies. <laughs> what do you mean? You haven't noticed that our new friend Umi has been- Strange? So you've also noticed something is slightly amiss with Umi. She may just be an executor in training, but even so, she would have already undergone rigorous preparation. <laughs> Failing to immediately report an attack on her outpost and leaving it on her own accord is a major dereliction of duty. But Jud also, when Lin asked about survivors, Umi should have immediately suggested to check the safe house. She only led us there when Shirley said she had identified signs of life nearby. Exactly. She's been lying to us. And I think on more than one occasion. At first, I thought that she was just in shock. But it was very curious to me that she checked the outpost's comms network. Executors are responsible for protecting others. They aren't trained in how to operate an outpost's comms equipment, or even have the access to it. But she must have stolen access keys from those unconscious technicians. What I wonder is, of course it's possible that she didn't really check the systems like Lin asked. Do you think Miss Lin also kn- It's safe to say, yes. Lin is very careful, and Un- Hey! What about Umi? Don't worry. She will find us when she wants to. Huh? But won't we get lost without- I've made my fair share of visits to this plant collector's- Oh? I thought you said you didn't have- I was just playing along with Umi. Come on.
MSEC 2000 reporting in. New resources acquired. I'm taking it back to the security force. Signs of Lin or Shirley yet? Seems we're the first to arrive. Or perhaps they ran into. If that's so, I think they should be able to handle it. It 
It's a shame the equipment here isn't in better condition. It's going to take us several days at least to restore everything. If we can't fix the base station for several days, do we have any other ways to go to Innis? Without a space rift, the only way to get there would be the deep sea tunnels. Deep sea tunnels? Yes. A primitive access way established during the founding of the Second City for the transportation of materials, equipment, and personnel. The later establishment of stable space rift networks with Maroria rendered the tunnels mostly obsolete. There's an entrance to the tunnels quite close to here. Just over there. <gasps> Is that... Umi? Let's go and see what's happening over... Lynn? Miss Lynn, help me! you figure it out? Almost right away? You're a poor actress.
focus on the target. She's unconscious, but alive. Just like the other members of the outpost? Yes. That gray space entity didn't kill them, just manipulated them like puppets. These parasitic gray space entities represent a whole new threat to humanity. They're clearly much more difficult to defend against than classic entities. We have to pass on the news immediately to headquarters. What should we do about this muddy one? Eliminate it? Or bring it back for Lyra's team to study. We'll bring it back. It's an extremely valuable specimen. Tian Long, can I leave the safe handling of that thing to you? I'd rather... What about Umi? The gray space entity has left her body, but... Is she back to normal? I think that... She should be alright. Ow! Umi? You're awake! Huh? Who are... <gasps> Officer Lin! Officer Lin! District 7 Executor in Training Umi reporting! Just call me Lin. Umi... Uh... The last thing... Training? No! I, I was on patrol! Yes! Patrol- So... She doesn't remember. Actually... A gray space entity had taken control of your body. Caused us no small inconvenience, by the way. There's no need to intimidate her. She's just as much a victim of the Gray Space Entities as any other members of the Outpost. And I'm sure they need a thorough medical check. We should head back. Huh? But what about this mess here? It Headquarters can send someone and fix up the Outpost. In terms of the tunnels... All right, then.
You've brought back a very valuable specimen, a new kind of parasitic gray space entity we've never seen. It will be immensely- Apart from Umi herself, I think it's likely other members of Outpost 10 also fell under the great- Okay, I'll arrange it. But unfortunately, our current technology has no way of identifying- Parasites can hide themselves well within their host. When Umi was parasitized, I couldn't detect any gray space entity signals inside her. Perhaps we can have Dr. Rubilia take a look- Right. Rubilia might be able to identify controlled individuals quickly. I understand. I'm sure that Umi and her colleagues are not the first humans to- Archon Larson has already ordered an urgent investigation into this new species. You can leave those questions with us, Lin. Archon Larson has- He wants us to go to Innis through the tunnels? Yes. Right now, whatever is happening to Innis is our highest priority. But the tunnel network is a real labyrinth. And we can't discount the possibility of gray space entities or other dangerous- I can guide you. Greetings. I'm Icarus. Operation codename? Mook. Mr. Icarus. Lyra. Lynn. Icarus. You're back? Yes. Archon Elric asked me to assist as soon as he heard of- And you are the Executor and Miss Shirley, correct? Greetings. I'm Icarus. Mook? You're the leader of the Mook Squad? Uh... Yes. Icarus and his squad had been posted to Innis for quite some time, so you've never had the opportunity to meet until now. And I'm afraid I'd be stuck in Innes too if I hadn't been ordered back to District 9. You don't seem too worried about Innes's situation. Shiro had detected an anomalous change in the ocean environment several days ago, so we'd asked Archon- F Icarus, you were just saying you could guide us? So it- Archon Fiona once showed me the blueprints of the entire tunnel network. And I also carried out a few simple exploration missions there in the past. All right, then. I'll leave re-establishing contact with Innes to you, Lynn, the Executor, and Shirley. Okay. Then we- Thank you. 